Arizona and New York are at a crossroad between crime and politics. The fate of a suspected murderer is at the middle of a feud between Arizona's Maricopa County attorney and the Manhattan district attorney. And having observed uh, the treatment of violent criminals in the New York area by the Manhattan DA there, Alvin Bragg, I think it's safer to keep him here and keep him in custody. Maricopa County attorney Rachel Mitchell, a Republican, is referring to murder suspect Rod Almansori, who police say confessed to killing a woman in a New York City hotel room before fleeing to Arizona, where he allegedly stabbed two more before his arrest. New York Police Department was contacted and confirmed the incident and that Almansori was a suspect. Through communication with that department, the surprise police detective was able to obtain a full confession. That's where the collaboration appears to end. Mitchell announced she directed her team not to cooperate with the Manhattan DA's office. She says DA Alvin Bragg, a Democrat, is too soft on criminals, adding she does not want Al Mansouri to end up on the streets. In a press conference on Thursday, Bragg called the move politically motivated. It is deeply disturbing to me that a member of my profession, a member of law enforcement, would choose to play political games in a murder case. Bragg says since he was elected prosecutor two years ago, the murder rate in Manhattan has gone down 38% and is lower than that of Maricopa County, which is home to Arizona's largest city, Phoenix. County DA Mitchell has, I don't know how else to say it, just got it wrong at every single term. Mitchell maintains her decision not to send Almansori to New York is about keeping the public safe. She says it's not political and it is not aimed at the work done by New York City police. But according to a report by Fox 10 Phoenix, Mitchell's attack on New York may be misguided in this case. According to the report, in 2023, Almansori was arrested and facing serious charges in Florida for allegedly attacking a woman. But the Florida State Attorney's Office dropped most of the charges, reportedly because of insufficient evidence. Almansori's bail was set at $2,500. The alleged victim, he said before he started strangling me, scream and I'll kill you, says the murder in New York and the attacks in Arizona should never have happened. It breaks my heart for the other women involved, for the families of those women involved, when all of this could have been prevented. Al Mansouri is currently behind bars in Arizona and is being held without bond.